Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me with poor lighting here. And still in this bin is me trying to do day 26 of the Lead Code Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this far. I have just a little bit of an update is that I have not done the virtual contest yet for both the bi weekly or weekly. I'll probably do it in a couple of days. I know it's, I think it's the first time in like a long time, like a couple of years that I didn't do it within 24 hours, but hey, I'm kind of busy here in Lisbon. <laughs> Follow me on the IG stories if you're curious. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, let's do today's problem, which is total cost to hire K workers. All right, let's take a look. 2462 total cost to hire K workers. So you're given sale index array costs and you're given the cost of hired IF worker. You want to run K session and hire exactly one worker in each session. In each hiring session, choose the worker with the lowest lowest cost from either the first candidates or the last candidates. What does that mean? Oh, that means like first four or the last four. Okay. Lowest cost, so which is three. So that means that you're always going to take from the front if it's a total. And uh, okay. I mean, this seems pretty straightforward. It seems like a heap problem um, with with nuances around around just like you know boundaries and stuff like that. So yeah, let's let's get to it, and hopefully we just don't make any mistakes. Right, having the idea is just put everything in a heap, or everything that we're considering into a heap, and then we just kind of keep lowering costs, and that's it. And for example, we we do the first uh, candidates, right? Or we could even just do something like mm, yeah, let's just do a little bit cleaner, right? So for I and range of candidates right uh, cost supply we have a heap and of course in um in python there is a min heap so keep that in mind uh, and actually maybe we wanna i don't i don't think we need to care about the type maker, but maybe i'm wrong on that one but just keeping the in index and then y is equal to n Minus one. Uh, oops. Uh, mm. I mean, this is going to be right ish. So you want something like, eh, maybe just like right. Right. And this is actually just left in, in general. You want to keep it consistent, right? But of course, oops. But of course, um, you know, they may overlap, right? So basically, maybe just something like if left is to the right, then we break because we may overlap. And then after that, after that, I think we're good. I think the only thing that's a little bit tricky is whether we want to add to the left or add to the right. And we could do something like a little bit tricky about it, just like add a flag here, maybe, right? So then now, uh, hiring K workers. So do, 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 do. Yeah. Zero. So hiring K workers, we take a look at the top of the heap. So we have the cost, we have the index, and we have the, the I call it the left right flag, maybe delta, I don't know. Let's call uh, let's just call it flag for now just because I'm I don't know, naming things are hard. So we always pay the cost no matter what. The index doesn't actually even matter. We just kind of use it as a tiebreaker for the sorting. And then flag is if flag is equal to one, then that, that means that we just took it from the left, so then we want to take another thing from the left. Right, so H um, cost left, left one, and then da, 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 da. and then else, same thing, but with the right side.
and I think that should be good unless I'm missing some edge case I guess that's always the case but uh oh yeah right um can we hide more than K hmm why would this go out of balance then I guess it just hmm I mean, I guess there should be a if left is less than right kind of thing. Maybe just like a last number situation. We're clearly wrong on it. What am I doing wrong? Did I miss something? Lower cost is two. That seems right. All right let's just print it out. So two, two, and eight, right? Did we not push to seven? Are we off by one somewhere? So left, right should be inclusive. Hmm. So initially this was four, two, eight, eleven. Okay, that's all. It's good. We never pushed a seven for some reason. Oh, maybe this has to be that. Um, the reason being that uh, we have inclusive bounds, so if they're equal to each other, that means you have one number left, which is the seven. That's actually a good test case, though. Uh, well, I mean, I guess every case would, should probably run into that. So let's give it a quick submit. And we're Gucci. Uh, basically, what is our complexity, right? Well, we only do heaps and push. Uh, sorry, we only do push and pop from heaps. So, and you, for each number in the input, we do it once. So it's gonna be log n. Um, so it's gonna be uh, at most one. So it's gonna be at most n log n. But of course, we actually do it uh, k plus candidates times kind of. So you know, you can say it's n log k n log k plus c or something like this um depending on how, how you want to figure it out but yeah in the worst case it's gonna be n log n because you just use the worst all the numbers anyway but yeah um that's what i have for this one let me know what you think stay good stay healthy to your mental health i'll see y'all later and take care bye bye